Personal Kanban is a system that has only two rules, which are to visualize your work and limit your work in process. And it meets the need that most knowledge work that people undertake or most personal tasks that people undertake are invisible. They keep them in their heads. We want people to get that out of their heads and into a visual system that we can manage because most of our brain is devoted to the processing of visual information. When we're overloaded, uh, the first thing that we do is we feel annoyed. Now, people have done this to us, they've given us too much work, and now we have to, we're on point now to actually finish all of those tasks, right? And so we start working on that and we're annoyed, and then we start to get frustrated with the people around us because they have a much easier life than we do because we're the ones that have been put upon with this horrible work and we don't actually realize that everybody else is as overloaded as we are. So then we start to feel like we're martyrs, like we've always been given all of this work and then we start to feel like we're the most important people in the world because we must be that important because we've been given everything to do. And what we're not doing during any of that is actually slowing down, looking at our work, figuring out what's wrong and making things better. We run out of time to actually think about work. So when people use a personal Kanban, one of the first things that happens is they take all of the tasks that are like right now you know, in their heads and they visualize that in a backlog. And that visualization creates a lot of cognitive ease. You've taken a lot of things you have to do out of your head and you've put it into a a cognitively pleasing shape into a kind of a rectangle. And you can say, okay, now I understand that these things are just options. I can choose what I have to do, and I know I can't do everything at once. Then the second thing is, rather than doing everything at the same time, we say explicitly limit your work in process, only do three or four things at a time. And then that gives you the capacity to finish stuff, finish the work you know, with quality, and be able to ask strong questions about, did I do the right thing? Am I undertaking the right processes? And was this task really necessary to begin with? So the basic personal Kanban allows us to set up a quick personal or small team value stream. So you know, ready, doing, done, which is the simplest value stream that we can have. And what happens first is we are taking, like I said, all of that work out of our heads and we're putting that directly into a backlog. And before we had to run all of these analyses in our heads and say, okay, what did I need to do? Who do I need to do it for? How long is it going to take? What's its relative importance? Is there a deadline? That kind of thing. You know, how important are these related to each other? Now, I actually have these as options. And so when I go to pull something into doing to start doing it, I'm able to interrogate this and say, what's the most important thing for me to do right now? And because we do want to limit our work in process, we will actually explicitly limit that and we allow ourselves to do three things or to start three tasks at once. If we do more than this, it's too much cognitive load and we don't focus on individual tickets. And when we don't finish, don't focus, we will prematurely finish. And anything you prematurely finish, by definition, isn't really done. And it includes all sorts of defects and design flaws. Uh, so our goal with the board is to show to other people and to ourselves what it is that we're doing, what we have available to us, and what's completed. After that, once work starts to move, whether this is for ourselves or for a team, we start to see the flow of work. We can measure that. We can start making better decisions about how we work, who we're doing things for, and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, and very quickly, this doing column right now is for convenience. Any, you can expand this out to have all of the steps in your value stream that you wish, you know, whatever is relevant.